Eamon Thompson and Cam Whitmore, the 4th and 20th picks for the Rockets, arrived in Houston to practically a parade inside their city. Remaining stoic for the most part, the two athletic wing creators didn't seem to shy away from the spotlight during their first day in H-Town. Thompson and Whitmore add to an already stacked young core consisting of 2021's second overall pick Jalen Green, 2021's 16th overall pick Alperin Shengun, 2022's third overall pick Jabari Smith Jr., 17th overall pick Terry Eason, in addition to 2019's 30th overall pick Kevin Porter Jr., and 2020's 52nd overall pick Kenyon Martin Jr. Under former Celtics head coach Ime Udoka, how long before this team finds itself back in the playoffs? Stay tuned, because the Rockets' master plan is being executed. Just 14.3% of you watching are subscribed, so subscribe if you're not in that minority. Back to the content. Eamon Thompson of the Rockets and Osar Thompson of the Pistons had the best story of anyone in the 2023 draft. Two brothers who played next to each other about their entire lives and slowly worked to achieve their goal together of playing basketball at the highest level in the association achieving their dreams and then some while playing for the overtime elite basketball league they were able to stand out as a few of the best talents in this year's draft class raising their stock to the point where they were selected right next to each other in this year's lottery amen and osar were selected fourth and fifth respectively amen by houston and osar by detroit making them the highest drafted pair of brothers in nba history after being introduced by the Rockets, Amen detailed which NBA players he's been taking bits and pieces from, stating LeBron James, SGA, Ja Morant, and De'Aaron Fox. If Amen legitimately is a hybrid of those players, Houston certainly has a special point guard to form their offense around. Based off this clip, where Amen seamlessly elevates from the foul line for a throwdown, there's no shortage of pro-level agility and running long jump ability from this man. In his first ever professional basketball press conference, it's a great sign the top pick from the overtime league noted the simple yet heavily impactful qualities he brings to the table. Amen stated that his leadership, defense, intangibles, and being a good locker room guy is where his value shines through the most. We'll get right back to Amen, but for the Rockets as a whole, with 60 million in 23-24 cap space, fans in Houston are speculating that this could be an Aaron Judge Grand Slam-esque free agency, on top of what's been a perfect start to the offseason in terms of the Udoka hiring and drafting Thompson and Whitmore. There's been talk of this Houston team both bringing back James Harden and stealing Brooke Lopez away from the Milwaukee Bucks, both in free agency. In the meantime, and operating under the assumption that Houston goes forward with their current core of talent, getting back to the postseason for the first time in what'll be nearly half a decade is the main goal. The post-Harden era rebuild has been a long road, as from 2021 through to the 22-23 season, the teams tallied just 59 wins while racking up 177 losses. In 22-23, under now-fired coach Steven Silas, the Rockets finished 29th among 30 squads in defensive rating and 27th in offensive rating. The intense ferociousness of fourth overall pick Eamon Thompson defensively and the slithery explosiveness in terms of his slashing ability offensively should upgrade the Rockets in both of those aforementioned stat categories. Thompson's ball handling chops for his veteran filled out 6'7", 220-pound frame of all muscle makes him a problem to slow down in space. Whether Thompson's gliding downhill with long strides and a fierce determination to get what he wants down low, or initiating stop-and-go hezzies before drawing gravity and dropping it off to a teammate, it's clear that he'll be a nightmare to guard in both the half and open court. From two-point range, he made over 66% of his shot attempts, stellar inside the arc efficiency, while posting over 16 points per game and just under six rebounds and assists on average. What Amen most significantly offers Houston is a mature presence to even out the range of personalities amidst this young group. 
Then there's Cam Whitmore, who's set sky-high standards for himself for his rookie year in the association, speaking on his NBA freshman goals by saying, Rookie of the year, I need a championship. First year, all of that. Whitmore's fall in the draft down to pick number 20 was reportedly due to character issues, something in which coach Ime Udoka will have to keep a close eye on. However, it speaks to his talent level that Cam falling to pick number 20 wasn't attributed to his upside on the court. The man can rise up with fortitude and springiness as well as anyone in 2023's draft, and if it wasn't for draft scouts vaguely questioning his quote-unquote level of care, he may have been a top 10 pick. The slashing shot creator in Whitmore thrives off getting out in transition, but he can also shock you by displaying some serious sauce in his recipe out on the perimeter. You have to check him from beyond the arc, as Cam can either pull back for contested deep-range bombs after evasive momentum crossovers, or create space with jab steps before knocking down spot-up attempts. His athleticism is far from the only piece to his offensive bag, when you consider he took over four three-pointers on average throughout 26 college games for Villanova and made a very solid 34.3% of them. Whitmore was Big East Rookie of the Year and is just another Houston Rocket who has the chance to morph into an All-Star over the years. Taking into account what I mentioned in the intro of this video, that being the array of young pieces this Rocket team has at their disposal, and additionally taking into account all the cap space they have, a trade might be in order for them to acquire a few more veteran pieces who can mentor a few specific young guys they choose to prioritize. Because, for example, Alperin Shengun, who's been labeled as a guy with Nikola Jokic upside, is someone you don't want to screw around with in terms of who's influencing his development. This still just 20-year-old from Turkey showed steady progression in year two of his career, increasing his stats across the board to the point where in under 29 minutes on average, he posted numbers of nearly 15 points and 10 rebounds while increasing his field goal and three-point percentage by at least eight percentage points respectively. The post footwork in terms of his ability to shed his matchup with drop steps, combined with his undervalued athleticism, general craftiness, and most prominently, his mind-boggling passing aptitude, makes Shen Goon an ever-evolving nightmare to defend. Jabari Smith Jr. is another player whose development the Rockets front office doesn't want to mess around with. The 6'11 stretch big was a member of the all-rookie first team in 2023, averaging a more than solid for a rookie 12.8 points and 7.2 rebounds per game. I'm a big fan of Jabari's mentality as well. There's an easygoing nature with JSJ that can rub off on the other 14 guys in the locker room. Basketball-wise, whenever a guy this big can knock down distance bombs with fluidity and fundamentals, you know you have something special. Jabari's got the ability to put it on the deck after baiting three-point shot with a sound handle for his position, and I think there's massive upside with the product of Auburn University in terms of his rebounding and defense. As his strength progresses, in addition to his wherewithal in terms of knowing opposing offenses progresses, which will only come with experience, look for Jabari to really morph into a near Jaron Jackson level defender. I think Udoka is going to really help Jabari defensively in terms of correcting his positioning and stances at times. Then there's the man tasked with being the number one option in front of incoming rookie Eamon Thompson in soon-to-be third-year pro Jalen Green. Green dropped four 40-point games in 22-23, tied for the 15th most among all players, and tied with Cam Thomas for the most among all sophomores. If Jalen can put it all together in year three in terms of his leadership style, his consistency, and his playmaking aggressiveness, man has face of the franchise written all over him. While he did average career highs in points, rebounds, assists, and steals in year two, Jalen's efficiency did take a slight dip compared to his rookie campaign. But he did have to do a majority of the shot creation, so the addition of Amen should really help him in that department. I'd like to see Green improve as a passer, 
and potentially study a guy like Jamal Murray in terms of his facilitating. Speaking of Murray, and that's the exact outline of a player that this Rockets franchise should be trying to develop Jalen into, given Green has a similar blend of shooting and slashing, Green has every weapon between the lines to progress into an all-star, it's just about his basketball IQ, persistence, and leadership catching up to his naturally gifted qualities. Nevertheless, he did vastly improve his points per game average from year 1 to 2, and you can't be mad at his early progression if you're a Rockets fan. Therefore, with the addition of Whitmore plus Thompson to help carry a brunt of the scoring load, potentially more pieces on the way in free agency, and the mentorship of a coach who led the Celtics to the finals in 2022, look for a breakout 23-24 campaign from Jalen Green. The 21-year-old's maturity on and off the court will either make or break this Houston squad's ascension amidst the Western Conference hierarchy as the future unfolds.